happy Saturday. Welcome to just like a few days vlog. I'm so excited because this is really just like a come along with me, just kind of like showing you what life looks like. And it just so happens to be the weekend, but I just want to take you guys along. Honestly, I just woke up and I was like, I want to start a vlog today. And I feel like I have a lot of stuff to show you guys too. So that's the plan for this. Welcome to the vlog. We also have a few fun things planned this weekend too, which I'm really excited about. I'm actually about to go home and have lunch with my mom because my dad is out golfing. My mom is puppy sitting my sister's dog and we're gonna have a special guest at lunch today. I'm about to go pick up Selena and she's gonna be my mom and like see my childhood house, which is so weird. <laughs> But if you guys don't follow Selena, you should, and I'm sure you are, but she's a really good friend of mine who also is a creator in the DC area. She also works for the federal government, so she has a mixture of life vlogs, work vlogs, a lot of like health and wellness vlogs, just kind of taking you along her life, similar to me, and I met her through YouTube around like two or so years ago, which is so crazy because I feel like I've known her for a lot longer than that, and like none of my creator friends have like met my mom yet, I think, which is so weird, and I know she actually watches Selena too, which is really cool, so I'm really excited to just show Selena my house, my mom, my mom's cooking, my mom's making us like a really delicious Korean lunch today, so that's gonna be really fun, and then we'll just kind of see whatever the rest of the weekend is. That's really my only plan like big for this weekend or for the next few days other than that i'm just kind of chilling at home so yeah that's my long-winded intro of what the plan is for the next couple of days besides that i have like nothing planned <laughs> i'm really just going to orange theory and chilling kind of preparing for the week ahead of me and i love weekends like that i'm trying to do the thing where people are getting ready backwards and starting with like bronzer and blush and then doing your concealer and your face stuff last. So I don't really know how this is working. I feel like this looks crazy. Oh my God, actually it looks bad, but it will all cancel out really soon. So let me just finish getting ready so you can see the finished look because this just looks absolutely madness. So I'm also just, I never look this put together ever on the weekends, but I just felt like getting ready today. I don't know why. I'm also wearing like a real outfit too. My only plan is to literally go home and see my mom and hang out with Selena. My bronzer is a new bronzer. This is something that Tower 28 actually sent over. This bronzer is so good, you guys. This is the blush that I always use. You guys know that. And then paired together, it's just like a beautiful mix. And doing it first before I put my Ilia skin serum on, I just feel like this looks very, very natural looking and I love how it turned out. This is like a nice everyday makeup look. I also have a couple of things that I'm bringing home that I wanna show you guys too. Whenever I go home, I always try to think of the stuff that I haven't been using at my apartment for the last couple of like weeks. So I have just like a bag of clothes that I wanna bring home for either my mom to wear or to just keep in my closet at home or give away to people. So I have a big bag of clothes for that. I'm bringing home some like Foxtrot candies for my sister and my mom because I brought one home for my mom last week for her birthday and she loved it. So I got them more and then I wanna show you guys this because we actually have an extra one at our apartment now. I got my mom a stainless steel mug with Timmy's face on it and I think it's so freaking cute. I got this from Etsy and they actually sent over two because the first one came with like a dent right here. So they said I could keep it and they would send over a new one with no dent because I figured there just can't be a dent if it's going to my mom as a gift. So when I went home last, I saw that she was drinking her coffee out of like a cork circle stainless steel travel wine mug. And I was like, what are you doing? And she said that she likes having her coffee in stainless steel stuff so that she can drink her coffee for like a longer period of time and she doesn't need like a mug warmer or anything. So I got this for her because she doesn't have one of these and now she can have coffee with Timmy every morning. And I think it's just really cute. So that's like the last of her birthday gifts. It just didn't come in time because it came damaged. So that's everything that's going home. And then I also just got Selena a little gift for her birthday. Her birthday was at the end of January, but I haven't seen her in a while. So I got her some Foxtrot goodies, a candle, 
and then a card with a South Block gift card inside. Now let's go home and have a really good lunch. I'm really excited and we're gonna pick up Selena on the way too and see my mom and see Cashew and stuff. And this will be just like really fun. I always wanna bring you guys along if I go home or if I see friends or stuff, just because I know some of you guys probably watch Selena. So I just think it's really fun to see her in videos of other creators. That's everything. Let's head over and go pick up Selena and then go home and I'll see you guys afterwards. Yay! Hello! Hello! <laughs> I'm really happy to be here. It's different to see everything in person. I know, <laughs> it's so weird. It's, I love it though. Yeah. This is so, this looks so nice. All right. I mean, you would still use this one, right? Even if you bought yeah. a new one. I like traveling with this one. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, what is that? It's tracking your face. Oh wait, this this thing? Yeah. That's the level, so it tells me if it's teetering or not. The M50 is not that, Doesn't like, do that. user friendly. And then like it can track your face too. So like, but I feel like the M50 probably has that. Girl, this one's better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jenna has the cutest little, look at this little puppy. Oh, come here. Hello. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Literally the softest. I know, you're so cute. <gasps> <laughs> My mom's giving us vitamins. <laughs> no, this would be good for skin and hair. <laughs> okay, thank you. What you want? I guess it means we Is need it. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? We're going to have to look more Oh, there you go. Enhance the hair. It's actually like 5.30 right now. <laughs> But I actually just got home and then Thomas and I were laying on the couch for like just chilling for like 10 minutes, which turned into like 20 and then we were on TikTok. So another, you know, anyways. And then I went to Foxtrot to get just like something to wake me up. This is Olipop. I've seen this everywhere. I don't even think this has caffeine. I just really wanted something bubbly and I saw it. So I was like, let's just try. And then I also got this cookies and cream deluxe brownie because it was $1 but on the shelf it said like $6.79. So I was like, I'll have one of those too with $5 off. I also had two packages waiting for me at the package room. So I wanna open them with you guys. The first thing, oh, <laughs> I got another memorial thing for Timmy, okay? I just, I can't help myself. This one's gonna go in our apartment. Isn't it so pretty? It's so cute. And then it comes with a little stand too. So it's actually really easy. I got this on Etsy. And it actually shipped out really quickly too. It's just a piece of like almost acrylic, not glass, but it goes on the stand like this. Here it is. Where I have his paw print right now, I have a candle next to it. And now we have like a little Timmy area in the entryway. His paw print here. There, isn't it cute? I think so. I just really wanted like a picture of Timmy and I know we have one up here, but I don't know. I just wanted another one. I think it looks really cute right there. And then the last thing I got is something by Saved by Salt. This is Adrian Hill's brand and I'm really excited because first of all, Adrian Hill commented on one of my videos and I think it's just really cool when someone you watch, like you realize they watch you too. So it was just really cool, but I wanted to get something from her brand because she just released a new collection. So it comes with a thank you card, which is really pretty. I'm all for supporting small businesses. Oh my gosh, it comes with a scrunchie, very pretty. I love scrunchies. I'm gonna put it in right now. And then what I got, ooh, I got two things, but there's four little pouches. So let's just see, but I got these really beautiful earrings. Aren't they so pretty? Oh my gosh. And I love that they're the kind of hoop that like clips in place. I just feel like it's more long lasting this way. Wow, these are so pretty. Oh my God, this is new. I did not get this, but she included this really pretty necklace. That's so pretty, oh my gosh. I don't have any like pendant necklaces like this. That's so nice. Oh, oh my God. And then I got this bracelet. Did I get this? I don't think I did. Wait, I think she just included it. That's so nice. Look at this bracelet. Ooh, 
Ooh, wait, it looks so nice paired with my Annalisa. And then this has to be the ring that I got. This is the other ring that I got. It's like a pearl ring. I don't have any pearl rings, but I really wanted something pearl. It looks so pretty. Oh my God. This is actually so high quality too. Okay, this ring is called the Bethan ring and I got a size six. It fits perfectly on my index finger, which was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it for. These beautiful earrings are called the Sarang earrings. And I think they're so pretty. They're kind of like thin, everyday, rigid hoops. These are beautiful. And then these other thicker earrings, oh my God. These earrings are called the Kealoha hoops. They're a lot thicker than the Sarang hoop. They're just like, much much thicker and wow and they're so pretty honestly paired together if you have two holes but i love that this is like a chunkier hoop and this is a more everyday hoop and then the necklace is called the studio sand dollar chain necklace this is so pretty i cannot believe she included multiple things with my order you guys have to check out save by salt because everything is so affordably priced and they look so high quality i'm actually so happy they're so beautiful Whoa, this tastes like Dr. Pepper. All right, all right. Mmm, it's a prebiotic drink. Mm, that's pretty good. Mm. Don't you think it tastes like Dr. Pepper? A bit. But like, in a good way? <laughs> this way. <weird>. Good enough. <laughs> so tired. I have so much to do tomorrow because I decided to be social tonight, but it's okay because it's literally Saturday night, you guys. Like that's what the weekends are for. I feel like I would just go crazy if all I did was like work the weekend on YouTube because I was trying to maintain like my night routine and my morning routine during the week. So it's always like a struggle, honestly, managing my time, having so many things to do, but it's time to go to sleep now. It's very late. And I wanted to show you guys some new things that It Cosmetics actually sent over for me to try out. And I'm so excited because I've heard so much about It Cosmetics skincare and they sent over like a whole bundle of skincare things. So this is the Confidence in a Cream Super Cream Moisturizer. They have a day version and a night version. So this is the Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep. This looks so amazing. I love trying out skincare lines that like all have products that work together well, just because I feel like you get the most benefit from everything. And then this is the Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Serum. So you're supposed to put on your serums before you put on your moisturizer. This actually came at the perfect time too, because I'm almost out with my serum and moisturizer anyways so it'll be nice to kind of switch things up aside from the skincare stuff though they also sent over their cc cream this is literally the best cc cream ever i feel like this is the first foundation that i ever really decided was like one of my all-time favorite beauty products ever they have a regular version which is this they have a matte version too and it's basically like skincare and makeup in one because it's a cc cream so it's spf 50 uva uvb physical sunscreen on top of it being like a full coverage foundation it's just amazing has anti-aging properties i feel like i've used like 10 tubes of this it's so good and my mom uses it like this is just you guys comment below if you've tried this before because it's amazing they also sent over a dual ended brush which i think is really cool i don't have a dual ended brush which i really should and then lastly they sent over an eyeshadow stick i have been needing an eyeshadow stick you guys this is in the color bare and brave and it's just like this really beautiful nude color this is perfect because if you guys saw when I did my makeup earlier today, I don't even really put on eyeshadow anymore. I just like all cream products. I feel like it's a lot simpler that way. You use like one less brush kind of thing and it's really nice. So having an eyeshadow stick where I just have to swipe it on, pat it in, and then put just like a simple shimmer on top with my finger is the best. So this is the perfect thing that I need to add to my makeup routine. So thank you so much to It Cosmetics for sending all this stuff over. I'm gonna link everything in the description box for you guys to check everything out. It Cosmetics is just like so freaking good and it's worth checking out their website. So I'll let you guys know in a couple of weeks how this stuff works, especially the skincare. I'm really excited to try this stuff out and that's everything. Okay, well, I'm so tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. guys happy sunday yesterday i determined was just a big social day for me <laughs> 
I hung out with my friend Selena and then I came back, ate dinner, watched some TV with Thomas and instead of editing at night for like my Saturday night crazy plan, I decided to go hang out with my friend Yashika. So I didn't edit last night, but I kind of don't care because I have nothing to do today other than go to Orange Theory at noon. You guys, I'm going to a 90 minute class. I have actually never done a 90 minute class from Orange Theory before. They do them every now and again, but I feel like I've always been busy whenever they've had them in the past. And this time I'm going, so I'm kind of scared. And like, I woke up late, it's 9.30 right now. I wanted to wake up at eight. So I don't really know what's going on with me, but I'm gonna eat breakfast and edit before I go to Orange Theory and then probably just edit for like the rest of the day. Because I didn't do anything yesterday, but it's okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna get back into my usual day, make my oatmeal. Again, I'm having, this is my last one, the Purely Elizabeth Blueberry Flax Superfood Oatmeal. This stuff tastes so freaking good. Why does it taste so good? And then I'll see you guys in a little bit. I don't know what else I'm gonna do today, genuinely. I just know I have to edit today, but I, I hope that's not the only thing I do. And I know I'm gonna cook dinner today because I was actually so bad this week about cooking my meals because I didn't have work on Monday and it was my mom's birthday and then Tuesday was Valentine's Day, so that happened. So I'm not really good about my, my weekly dinners. So I'm gonna plan them out this week and actually do them. It's fine, like again, I'm being gentle with myself this month. This week in general was just hard. We'll get back to it and we just have to plan it out. But let's have oatmeal and drink coffee and then we'll go to Orange Theory at noon. Lost cause I'm a little problematic. Calm down, has to up so thinking reckless. Took out to just your Bible care. He got habit, habit. You help me when I'm slow. I'm so dead. I'm so tired. That was genuinely such a mental and physical challenge of a workout class. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't even know if any of you guys care, but this workout class was crazy, okay? So this was a 90 minute class and I burned 842 calories, what? And I ran a total of 4.19 miles for just the treadmill portion, which was probably maybe like half or a third of the actual class. I'm really tired. I actually cannot believe I completed that. I would like to think that I'm in pretty good shape, you guys, but the 90 minute class is just like a different type of challenge because you're so tired when you realize you've reached like the end of a normal class and you still have a third of the way to go. I don't know if I could do that so often, if I'm being honest. I treated myself to a protein smoothie from South Block. This is the green Mahone smoothie and I just got extra plant protein in it for 20 grams of protein. Now I feel like I could literally be just a potato for the rest of the day. And it literally doesn't matter because I burned so many calories today. So I'm gonna make sure I rest for the rest of the day. And good thing, the only thing I really have to do is just like plan, edit, not really do anything active. I asked you guys on my Instagram last week for any questions or topics that you guys had in regards to work week vlogs, like topics of life during your work week, just kind of anything relating to that. And I answered one question in my last vlog. I honestly forget what it was at this point. Do you guys know when you finish such a hard workout that you don't even like know your name anymore? Like I can't think of anything right now, but I did want to answer one question though, because I have them all up right here. I'm pretty sure the question I answered in that vlog was just a matter of like, how do you make time and like, how do you recharge from work and life. I think that's what the question was. I don't even remember, but I decided I'm going to answer the rest of the questions on like a work coffee chat because these are questions that I would genuinely ask my mentors and I'm in no way like a mentor to you guys, but I do think that in maintaining my YouTube life, my work life and like my personal social life, I feel like I do have some advice to give in terms of my experience, at least with some of these questions, like how to recharge, de-stressing, advice for balancing, creating boundaries and stuff. So I'm going to do a separate like work coffee chat in an upcoming video in March. So I know you guys asked me a lot of questions, so just be on the lookout for that. But one question I did want to answer, which is just not related to work was a question about Thomas and my relationship moving in together. Now that we've been living together for around like six months, Thomas is around like over halfway through his first year of medical school and everything. One of your questions was, how's your relationship now that you've lived together for a bit? Thomas is on the way back from studying right now and then he's gonna go run outside. But I feel like we have gotten into like a really good groove of living together. I feel like we've completed the whole adjustment period. Like I know 
his schedule in a way he knows mine and I feel like we kind of know how to balance living with each other in addition to taking care of ourselves and our own priorities so I really love it I feel like honestly the more I lean into living with him and just like embracing this part of my life and my relationship I'm just feel really happy I feel like we work really well together and we live really well together and we focus on each other we know how to tend to each other's needs and stuff it has been so amazing honestly like living with thomas now that i feel adjusted and that's not to say that like it's always been this perfect you guys saw the videos of me moving in and him starting the school and just me being in a bad place and that's because i don't work well with change but overall it's been going really well and here he is it's really nice out i was just talking about you what was i doing Someone was asking how our relationship is now that we've been living together. How's it been? It's been great. Great? Mm -hmm. How great? Amazingly great. Rate it out of 10. 11. <laughs> strawberry matcha because I just mainly thought of it and he wanted a snack. I am not going to have an afternoon caffeine because I already had coffee and pre-workout today and that is far enough caffeine for me. But I want to make him a matcha and I'm just going to do like a strawberry. I don't know why. My mom gave me strawberries so I was like I'm going to make him a strawberry matcha. So we're going to do one full strawberry, some milk, and then a little bit of vanilla. And then we're going to blend it so it basically just becomes like strawberry milk. And then that's going to be our milk base for our matcha and it'll be so good. Ideally, you're supposed to use this with a strainer so that if there are any like strawberry chunks, then they get left out. But I don't have that. One teaspoon of matcha in some water. Froth it up. strawberry milk oh my gosh this looks so cute it looks so good does it look good yeah. oh my god <gasps> wow okay i'm gonna try it before i give it to thomas what mm. that's good there you go mm, that's really good is it good mm -hmm. It's not too sweet, right? Mm -mm. We made one of the green chefs for dinner. This is the Monterey Jack burgers. And we decided to make this on Sunday just because I usually don't want to make something like this on the weekday because I feel like it just takes too long or like it's just not something I would want on the weekdays. So we made it for dinner this Sunday night and I tried doing fries instead of like the potato wedges like it said. And they're kind of a fail, but at least it looks pretty good. I think it's really good. Does anyone else like us that just uses like paper towels ripped in half as napkins? <laughs> I just like can't for some reason justify buying napkins. I don't know. We like stock up when we go to like Chipotle. <laughs> yeah. Happy Monday, it's like 7.45. Okay, it's eight o'clock. And I did sleep in a little bit this morning because I ended up going to bed later than my usual night routine, but I have two deadlines for YouTube, like my video on Tuesday and a sponsored video for Friday. And when I have sponsorships, you have to upload the video and hand it over to them, like finish it way in advance. And I wasn't really that ahead because the video is like a week in my life, which is something that I filmed last week. And so, yeah, not very ahead. And I was pretty social on Friday and Saturday. So that just means I had to sacrifice a little bit of my routine. But I think that happens too. Like, I don't want you guys to think that I do my night routine and my morning routine every day. And that if I have work the next day, then that always means that I'm going to sleep. Like my intention is that I try to do that as much as possible like as much as i can in my control and as much as like i'm able to that doesn't happen all the time and i feel like that's totally okay for life to just be life think about it this way right if i wanted to have my night routine so bad and i told you i've been trying to lean into having like less plans then in this case i would have to do 
basically no plans on the weekend and see no friends. And for me, that would fill my cup up less than just finishing my video. Jay lives in Maryland and he's moving back to New York soon. So I just wanna spend as much time with him as I can. And my other friend just moved to Arlington. So like, it's new that she's here and I want to see her more because now I can. So I just decided to make the choice this weekend to see them and hang out with them and sacrifice a little bit of my night routine on my Sunday so that I could edit. And it's all going to work out still. Like I still woke up today and I'll still finish my video and everything. But I just say all of this to say that like life means you shift priorities every single week because we're human. And that's just really, I feel like how life goes. So I didn't go to bed at 10 or nine. I did go to bed at like close to midnight because I was just, I wanted so bad to finish tomorrow's video like as much as possible. And you guys saw I did. So I'm happy and I still got like seven hours of sleep. Thank goodness I did not go to Orange Theory this morning because I'm honestly really sore from the 90 minute class. On rest days, I have yogurt usually instead of oatmeal, but it really just depends on my mood. I'm gonna have some bone broth because I just got this from Thrive Market and I want it this morning. You're supposed to have this on an empty stomach, like if you can. So I'm gonna finish making my yogurt bowl, make this and then start work because I have to start work in like 50 minutes. you guys it's nine o'clock so i need to sign on to work now but i basically finished editing the video that you guys are watching right now which is really awesome i'm just really glad that i was able to edit this on sunday because i actually have another video to edit today so this is all good and ready and then i also planned out my meals for this week so i just ended up doing that this morning before i did my weekly check-in but i have green chef i have a sweet green slash kava i'm gonna make nourish bowls this week and then i have dinner with my friend jess on thursday and friday i'm gonna make a pasta so here's how everything is looking right now the 20 percent this week is definitely gonna fill up but like i feel like i can't plan it right now here's everything there and now it's time to sign on to work i just made my coffee this is the one with timmy on it i guess i'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here because i'm gonna sign on to work and i'm gonna start a new video i think like midweek but i need to edit like all night today and i feel like after i do like a two back to back thing i just need like a break from youtube so i'm gonna not start a vlog until probably like wednesday or thursday and i actually already planned out like half of march's videos so i'm really excited and i hope you guys enjoyed this like few days in my life vlog this was honestly so fun to just kind of like take you guys along my days and not show you like my notion every time and my planner every time and my to-do list and blah 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 but just kind of like take you guys along life and show you guys some fun stuff along the way because I'm always getting some freaking packages. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I loved hanging out with you guys the last couple of days. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, miss you already.